It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does always actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. It's not easy. Can I do it? Yes. The fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of, of standing by myself. What else is available? of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all. What else is available to me that will bring some extra meaning and value? Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. I'm in charge here. I'm not gonna stare at it. You stare at your past and you'll end up staying there. It's okay to look back and admire it, but you carry on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the business of staring, staring back at it. You know what I mean, I'm getting lost back there. Just people say you can, people say a loss can make or break a fight there. But trust me, a win can also make or break a fight. They get comfortable with a, with a win. People can get comfortable with a, with a win. And, and, and slack off then. Slack off on the training, slack off on the diet. They've won one. They're winners now. That's not me, you know, you sleep, on a, you sleep on a win and you'll wake up with a loss. So I just carry on, keep doing what I'm doing. The fighting Irish head to the fighting capital. It's, it's perfect. Continue on this path, the freight train straight to the top. I already feel like I'm living it. And then I just carry on doing that, you know, carry on day by day, already living the final goal, the goal of being the world champion. I already carry myself like I'm a world champion. I already speak like I'm a world champion. And, and that's it, I just carry on day by day. So I'll take it as it comes. Irish mentality is when you finish school, if you're not going to college or anything, you have to get a job straight away. There's no, there's no chasing your dreams. And, doing what you want to do, you know what I mean? It's get a trade or get in and do, do a job. So I got the first trade that came my way, which was plumbing, you know what I mean? And I spent 18 months doing that and I'm looking around on the site and I'm looking at the fully qualified people, you know, bad backs and bad posture and not making, you know what I mean? Not, not a good life to live, you know? And, and I just realized I didn't, want to, I didn't want to go down that route, you know what I mean? I, I, I thought I could do something with my life and I, I knew I had the ability to, um, to make it in this game. By the time I'm 25 years old, I'm gonna be a self-made millionaire. 2013, you said, by the time we're 25, we're gonna be a self-made millionaire. Uh, there's no one laughing at me no. now. <laughs> I already feel like a millionaire, Ryan. You know yeah, what I, mean? yeah, I really yeah. do. I feel like a millionaire. I feel like a superstar, and that's the way I that's the way I felt back then when I first started. Yeah. You know what I mean? I kept that vision in my head. I kept that belief. I hit the gym. I trained hard. I believed in my abilities, and 
now here I am. I'm at the making, making a big name for myself on the on the mixed martial arts scene. I'm at the making some money and hopefully it inspires all the martial arts I call here, and all, all the guys from my gym and all around the country and hope to go after their dreams and chase it down because there's only one thing that's impossible and that's to beat a man that doesn't give up. I already felt like I had money back then, even though I didn't have money. I always felt like I was the champ, even though I wasn't the champ, you know what I mean? So it, nothing changes for me. I, I still feel the same way as I did before. I continue to do what I do day in, day out, win or lose. I show up at the gym, I train. When I, when I leave the gym, I take down notes of what happened in, in, in training. The amount of work I put in, you know what I mean? No one works harder than me. I'm the hardest working athlete in this, on this side. Possibly the most famous Irish man on the planet. To the gym, I repeat, and then that's it, that's my life. a big name for myself on the on the mixed martial arts scene. I'm at the making some money and hopefully it inspires all the martial arts I call here and all, all the guys from my gym and all around the country and hope to go after their dreams and chase it down because there's only one thing that's impossible and that's to beat a man that doesn't give up.